I really need to figure out how to get around with uh, this, but uh, hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Please remind you, Tim Drake here, at your service, and welcome, mattress to the follow. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I forgot to say that the last two streams. Uh, it seems to work now, <laughs> so yeah. Thank you for the follow, mattress 757 I hope you enjoy the show. And yeah, welcome back to Cleo, A Pirate's Tale, of which it's still a bit unclear on if the, the subtitle is supposed to be capitalized or not. Like, on Steam, it's not, but everywhere else does capitalize it. But I think I'll go with, well, the Steam page, since that's the developer's own you know, the developer's own work. Maybe they just forgot to do it, but oh well. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, yes, uh, uh, let me say this right now. Yes, it's Wednesday when we do a, uh, a bonus stream, and we did a coin flip. Yeah, it was either Cleo or more hardships. Uh, hard I <laughs> <laughs> like it's been two years since we played that game and i still managed to screw up the name by flipping parts of it around <laughs> <laughs> hard space ship breaker not hard ship <laughs> space breaker though that would probably Wait. be a funny game i think we're gonna need to re-watch re that clip at some point but i don't sure if you just said hard break ship breaker or something yeah, like I'm that i'm pretty sure i said a I, I think I was going for hardship with saying it. Or, yeah. Anyways, last time we got started with this game, and uh, yeah, it's very Monkey Island-ish, but a bit less yeah. absurd in some places. Yeah, and has its own charm. And I just yeah. noticed something on the boat. Do you no. see the writing on the side? Yep. Yeah, perhaps. 38. We spotted that last stream as well. I, I, I missed that. Probably due to the pixelation. Do it has? It seems to be really stir, uh, sturdy, stable today. I still can't believe it. The fail and all that. Finally, a new environment and no more constant repairs. I'll bring you wherever you want until the sun comes up tomorrow morning. I made a promise. The attempt thirty-eight is at your disposal. Why mm. does the voice I just I just realized this game doesn't have pixelation, which runs so damn smooth on Discord. <laughs> well, technically everything is, pixel is pixelated. But, but point taken. <laughs> point taken, Captain. What do you think of us sailing into the nautical fog? This is surely about to be quite an adventure. Don't you worry that, well, this could be the beginning of an attempt 39? Worry? Don't be mistaken. I had my share of adventures too before I became stranded on this rocky island. You know, I have been collecting cocktail recipes all over the world, even in dangerous places. So don't you worry about me. Okay, I need to make a joke here. I used to be an adventurer like you until I took a strip rack to the knee. <laughs> Trust this parrot. <laughs> to be honest, that's none of my business. I owe nothing to the bird. I owe you. You decide where to go. Hmm. See you later. Okie dokie. <laughs> Shipwreck to the knee. <laughs> yes, I, I, I was. I was not turning silent. Just the damage did not pick up on me trying to not laugh loudly. <laughs> Also, yeah, Captain Avery, who is now an avian. Oh. Just to make sure we're on the same page, uh, what was the plan again? We find the treasure of eternal memory and become the most famous adventurers of all time. And how exactly do we get this treasure again? The treasure is on Pambo Island, hidden in the nautical fog. But to navigate through this fog, we need a will the wisp. That's why we're here. Correct. You've paid attention. Great. <laughs> he was the one explaining <laughs> it in the first place. Uh. Okay, now let's double check on this as well. Where did you say we would find the Willow the Wisp? I'm sure that somewhere near this island is Antilantis, the sunken gallery of very rare items. 
They say that a Will the Wisp is part of this exhibition. You have to get it for us. How do we get there? We're on a boat, darn it. Get a map of the area and tell that Rummy to bring us there. <laughs> okay. Rummy? It, it, it keeps. I'm yeah. gonna get back. Good. I have no, no real idea what that's supposed to be in <laughs> much of a meaning of. Uh, but yeah. before I forget, uh, they, we keep hearing it as anti, uh, anti Lantis, but it's Ati Lantis. Antiquities Lantis. Or something like that. I would not be surprised if is the voice actor struggled to say the name, just keep miss saying it, so they just decided, let's just let's get, use what we got or something like that. Yeah. Welcome to McAnilly Palms. My name is Ingo, but who cares about my name, right? Everything here revolves around you. What can I do for you? What makes you happy? Spill it. Wow, you're in a good mood. That's not important. What would improve your mood, huh? Let me guess. You want to get away from the hustle and bustle, hmm? Yes? You're here to fish, right? Good choice. Not really. No fishing rod? No problem. As a thank you, visitors to McAnilly Palms receive an original McAnilly Palms fishing rod with three, I repeat, three different colored fishing lines. Here you go. Actually, I wanted... Is that a smile I see? Getting into the McAnilly Palms vibes, aren't you? How could I resist? Here. You get a pack of standard fishing bait for free. But, uh, psst, the others don't have to know about that, right? Hmm, yes? I'm looking for... The perfect place to fish successfully and undisturbed? There are countless suitable spots around here, one better than the other. It must have been right in front of your nose, dear. You just haven't noticed it yet. Here, take this map. It will help you find your way around the area. Enjoy yourself. I, uh... And when you've done enough fishing... I recommend that you check out the great attractions around McAnilly Palms. The Glowing Mushroom Islands, the Sunken Gallery, Panamu Bay, uh, and you're in luck. At this very moment, there is an exhibition about the famous Teddy McAnilly at the McAnilly Hotel. You must see that. One moment. Right. One moment, Ingo. Where is this exhibition? I have to go there immediately. <laughs> okay. I'll write down the address right away. Just a second. Here. But... Wow, you can talk a lot, girl. I like that. But now it's time to relax. Hear me? Today is all about you. If you still need anything, you can find me here. Enjoy the wonderful evening and good luck fishing, hmm? Yeah? I think we might have found the polar opposites of uh, Stan. What Cause... by boulders balls just happened? <laughs> uh... Basically, okay, he isn't malicious at least, he just, well, he's technically being pushy without being malicious, um, okay. Nice, but pushy? They're pushy, but not in a malicious way, not that he's trying to sell us something, he's just giving us the free stuff. So I'm guessing he's either very caffeinated or very under threat by his boss. Yeah, there also, he said, we talk, uh, she talk a lot. Um, <laughs> the sign reads, view of Panamu Bay. Hey, isn't that the bay butt hair Pete was talking about? Butt hair Pete. That, that's so horrible of a nickname. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see, that's the McAnilly Hotel. Oh, hello. Uh, let's not take clothes. Uh, hey, hey, you're blocking the sun, silly. Can't you see I'm getting a tan? You just got here, right? I haven't left the sun lounge for days while the sun is still shining. I'm getting a really nice tan here. Yeah, uh, that's going well. Right? The secret is to apply lotion regularly. No sunburn, not gonna happen. While we're at it, would you please put some lotion on my back? Is that really necessary? Of course it is. I don't want to get a sunburn. So... Okay. Alright. This feels a bit like a reference to one of the Monkey Islands. Covered in sunscreen. 
I remember in one of the later Monkey Islands uh, that we had to deal with a man who just could not get a fucking tan for the life of him. Oh, yeah. I think I'm vaguely aware. I don't think I dare to imagine what just happened. Wait, did, did you do the sunscreen? We got it. Let's see, you can never spread all the sunscreen onto the skin. A greasy residue of it always remains on the hands. Wait, so... I expect I had to say something after we did that. And that probably if we try to talk to her again, she'll probably ask us to apply more. So we'll probably have to sabotage her tan in a way to get her clothes or something. Because I'm pretty sure if we try to grab it, we, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna get told off. Uh, don't you say I should play that same song again? I had no intention of doing that. Thank God, I play the same songs over and over every day. I mean, they're really good songs, no question about it. But over and over again. Did you compose that? Me? Are you crazy? They'd drown me right here in the Cassandra stream if I played my own songs. In here, only songs by Antonio Leiterendi are played. Antonio Leiterendi? He was the star pianist of Meccanelli Palms. His songs are known worldwide and are about great celebrities and legends. Like Captain Kabaka, Cutting Board Pitt, and of course, Teddy Meccanelli. And you are only allowed to play songs by this Leiterendi? That's the way it is. Fortunately, the day will be over soon. Well, hang in there. Yeah, that is a drawback of, uh, yeah, popular songs. It often makes it really hard for new good material to get in. Yeah, and also, is that Elvis? It certainly looked like it. It says Cassandra Stream. Warning? Risk of drowning. Wait, there's a stream that used to build over it? Yep. Psst. I want to listen. Okay, uh... Hey! One moment, please, young lady. I want to quickly sort out my thoughts and put them on paper before I lose a thread here. But the real highlight of this trip is still ahead of me. My visit to the sunken gallery of Atlantis. So that's it for now. Hello, what did you say? What kind of book is that? My travel diary. In my travel guide, it says that you should definitely keep a diary because there is so much to see and discover at Meccanelli Palms. The cemetery, the lighthouse, Panamu Bay, the glowing mushroom islands, the sunken gallery of Atlantis. You love your travel guide, don't you? Of course. I'm not going to risk missing out on anything on Meccanelli Palms. I've already bought all the tickets that you need for this trip in advance. The schedule is tight, but manageable. It's all here in the travel guide. The only thing that's not in the travel guide is how to relax on vacation. <laughs> Good one. How to get the perfect souvenir. What would the perfect souvenir be? A mushroom from the glowing mushroom islands. But they are almost impossible to pick. Okay. Wait, so she wants a glowing mushroom? <laughs> so do you, apparently, I guess? <laughs> I was it apparently, for some reason. Did you say Atlantis? Have you been there? They say it's breathtaking. Not yet, but I have to go there. I got the ticket weeks ago. That will be a real highlight of the trip. What do you want for the ticket to Atlantis? <laughs> I won't trade it. Let's see. Yeah, we'll probably have to trade the mushroom for the ticket or find some other way to steal it. Have you ever heard of the treasure of eternal memory? The treasure of eternal memory? Hmm. <sighs> There's nothing about that in the travel guide. Where is that? Oh, forget it. <laughs> Have you played Kraken Fodder on this vacation? The travel guide says that a round of Kraken Fodder should not be missing on this trip. 
but everyone always wants to play with stakes against me. That's way too risky for me. It's up to you. If you can live with your cowardly decision to refuse a challenge of Kraken fodder in the hollowed halls of the Macanelli Hotel, this will definitely look good in your travel diary. Hmm. Nope. Sorry. Too risky. <laughs> okay, so either we trade her for it I'll or we later. win it, maybe. Yeah, no, I, I will agree with her. I I will not gamble. I, yeah. I will just play for fun. This is a glass container that is filled with corks. I guess it's for decorative reasons. I don't think anyone would notice if I grab a few. Okay, corks. What? what? At best, with stuff like that, I would go for small gambles, like who pays for dinner or such. A beautiful fire is blazing there. Reminds me of my dad. And my book. That was so mean. <laughs> it was. Yeah. It's you, that's a bunch of names. Uh, Magnus Bear? <laughs> Pesky Pedro? These are going to be, these are backer names, I'm pretty uh, sure. Uh, 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 so Mr. Ork as well? Let's see, Suzanne and Mark Molf Schumann. There's, okay, there's card suits with these. Okay, those are going to be for different wings I'm getting, I'm guessing. Hmm, okay. Welcome to the McInally Hotel. Would you like to check in? No, thanks. We are fully booked anyway. Then why did you ask anyway? <laughs> it sounds like we have guests this? downstairs. This hotel was built in honor of Teddy McInally, the inventor of the most popular card dice game of all time, Kraken Fodder. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard about him. The guy must have been pretty rich. Teddy McInally had great financial success inventing the game, that's correct. After his death, his descendants built this hotel, right next to his crypt, to pay respect to him. And to make even more money after his death. And to pay respect to him. <laughs> sure. He might have well built it right over it. <laughs> okay. But it did get over the stream. Somewhere around here. That's right! In the room directly behind me there is an exclusive exhibition all about the life and death of Mr. Teddy McInally. Can I see the exhibition? Ha! It's reserved for hotel guests only! Okay, so we need to get Oops, someone heard. out of their place. Or out of their room, I'm guessing. Hmm. Have you ever heard of the treasure of eternal memory? Oh, that again. I know Teddy McInally's life story inside out, and not a tiny bit had something to do with such a treasure. I don't even believe that this silly treasure even exists. But every few years, some crazy treasure hunter comes around and asks about it. You're looking for a myth, girl. Absolute waste of time. The pianist is Lovely. really good. Oh, absolutely. Sam is the best. The best replacement since the great Antonio Leiterendi passed away. He was a master pianist. He wrote all the famous songs about Teddy McInally and some great adventurers. Really a shame he's dead. He was buried in the cemetery behind the hotel, if you want to see it. His tombstone alone is worth the trip to McInally Palms. Hey. I'm out of here. Please visit us again! I get a bit of a feeling oh, that we'll have to uh, commit a bit of grave robbery to see if he got buried with a new song or something. Yeah, uh, Lord, I, I heard the voices from me, and also, do you notice the car down? Yep. It's a huge statue of a hand holding a Kraken fodder card. Mm, better not. And I don't even know why. <clears throat> Okay, no reason to. 
Then I think we are about done here. We'll probably get stopped here. It says no passage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We would probably get stopped as well if we tried to get into the exhibition. Yep. Okay, these are some gravestones. It what says, the heck? When life gives you lemons. Here lies the famous lemonade maker and incorrigible optimist, Benny Bad Breath, killed by a falling lemon tree. Hey, there is even a small lemon tree growing out of the grave. I'm pretty sure lemons don't grow on trees. <laughs> uh, lemon grows on trees, Hale. So does oh. all citrus fruits. Okay, I thought it was more of a bush thing. Like... <laughs> yeah. Trees can be small. Here lies star pianist Antonio Leiterendi. Wow, impressive tombstone. And whose is this then? An old, run-down wooden cross. The name on it can no longer be read. Is that his brother or something? And hello. Oh dear. That must be the nautical fog Avery was talking about. We need this willow the wisp best to not lose our bearings in there. Okay. Oh this is the grave Wait, is of Booze Britta, buried with what she loved most. <laughs> oh gods. Mm. Also, is there a, you've never seen a bonsai tree? Now, I have seen bonsai trees, but yeah, as far as I knew, the, the only time I'd ever heard of lemon trees was in that uh, that song. Uh, I forget the name of the band. Uh, let me do a quick look up on that, actually. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah they are recorded grown trees. Just they are normally people get to see a fruit tree is usually an apple tree and maybe a pear tree and sometimes a cherry tree. Fool's Garden. Uh, Fool's Garden. Yep, that's the band. The song Lemon Tree. And yeah, yeah, I can see <laughs> every other thing right here is either about the song or about a movie with the same name, apparently. Oh, God. But yeah, I, I do feel like orange trees and lemon trees are kind of rarely depicted in uh, most media. Okay, apparently lemons do grow on a kind of short tree, but typically when I think tree, it's more like the kind that goes over your head with the leaves. So, yeah, that's usually huh. what people think about. For people who get the commercials, like, north of Sweden, we have, I'm sure we are the ones with the smallest trees in the world. That would and make sense with the colder are, climates. I have to say, Look at your hand. Mm -hmm. Those trees are probably the half the height of your hand. I'm pretty sure that doesn't fully count as a tree then, but as something else. <laughs> okay. Apparently, count as a tree, but it's still a bit of. Well, if you picked up, you would notice they're still a bit. D. These right here are the man flu. And that one over there didn't forward a creepy chain letter. Really? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> These right here died of the man flu. And that one over there didn't forward a creepy chain letter. Man flu? Um, okay. Wait a minute. Point and click adventures are dead? <laughs> really? Come what? on. Uh, come on! They are not dead. Uh, they, are, they aren't as popular or typically as successful as they used to be, but they are not dead. Visit now the Great Teddy McAnally Exhibition at the McAnally Hotel. A barrel uh, filled to the brim with pitch black ink. I better not drop anything important in there. That's a lot of ink. <laughs> hmm. Wait, hey, hey, I'm gonna try something here. Inky, are you in there? <laughs> no. Publisher? This is the famous McAnally Book Publisher. Inky. 
I, mean, I hmm. guess they needed to publish the damn rule books, but... Yep. Yeah. Hello, Lighthouse. Here's some kind of control panel to turn the parabolic mirror of the lighthouse. Hmm. If the door is open, that means you can go inside and touch everything, right? No. Okay. The lever cannot be moved. It says you have to loosen this screw first to adjust the mirror. But it's pretty tight. Okay. So we need to find a wrench or something. And that actually reminds me of something that's been a freaking nuisance over the last few weeks. Uh, our, our, our garage doors uh, are... They are being they are being held closed and they open with a set of uh, uh, what would we maybe call them I'll just call them mechanical arms. Basically, you, uh, you can program them to move in and outwards. Uh, but the thing with one of them is is that uh, one of them has the habit of failing in that it doesn't want to move for some ever damned reason, and it's also the one that well is keeping the <laughs> the, the door closed that. Uh, it is a little bit over the other one so it keeps both doors closed and it it is reasonably easy to get the arm unlocked but it, because it's being held to the door by a bolt the problem is the fucking bolt is <laughs> too long for it actually uh, and because the, the arm still moves somewhat it pushes the thing in really freaking tight so, yeah, every time that happens, it takes a few minutes to find the damn wrench to fit that fits with it, and then to unlock the damn thing. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, I, I, I've told multiple times already to just cut the fucking thing short, so that doesn't happen. It, when it does happen, it doesn't take that much of a hassle to get it out. <sighs> oh, oh well. God, yeah. It's not even like it could... Like, a, this sort of radio to happen. Okay, now what have we here? We have three lines of... Well, three lines of line. And we have, well, basic bait, and then there's four more. Let's what? see what this does. Oop. Yep. <laughs> and in it goes again. You could... <laughs> Uh, it, it's a fishing mini game. The boot is required. Where are you going to pair? Yeah, she keeps throwing it back. So, no, she might want to throw it somewhere else. Uh, Again. I love the animation. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is nice. Let's give this one more try. I think this is probably the cutest fishy animation I've seen so far in pixel art. Okay, changing the line. Not that I think that's going to change anything, but it's worth a shot. Let's give both of these a different try. Oh, green is fish. Okay. So it is a... Was that just a random chance and I just got it on the one time that I... Yeah, change those. Okay, no, it's okay. So the red line catches boots. The the blue line catches green fish. What does the green line catch? Also, just the obvious fact that the rod is longer than that she sh should be able to fit into that thing. And also, just green as fish. Is what is it? Literally, just a random chance between a boot and that. Nope, it is literally the basic thing just catches boots. <laughs> now, what if we... Oh, wrong click. And what if we use the other fish uh, as bait? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something that this is all about. Redfish. Reddish fish? Uh, wait, reddish. Yeah. It doesn't look that red to me. Yeah, more... Uh, really? Wait, the boot ate the fish? Okay, and we have a limited a number of... 
I thought it would just give us debate as long as we caught at least one of them, but no. Okay, now what if we catch... If we change this to blue and this to red? Hmm. Nope, just another brute. Okay. Maybe and we should explore more. For green we and don't green. know yet if we need if what we need to do to fish it for. For I would not be surprised if we get some tip about how to fish. Could be, yeah. Uh, and that's well, that's all of the greenish fish gone, anyways. Hmm. Yeah, I might need to. Yeah, I need, might need to use a bit of pen and paper for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, there. This is a turd, the talking parrots. The parrot that Madame uh, Jigami lately gave me talks. And he doesn't just repeat things, he tells stories. He claims to be the true adventurer behind the famous Captain uh, Quebeca story. The, yeah, the Captain Quebeca uh, stories. And he says he knows where the treasure of eternal memory is buried. Was M Madame Jigami Lele really right? Am I the chosen one destined to find this treasure? First this ghost in the logbook, then the kraken, the siren, the fortune teller, and now the parrot? Everything seems so predetermined. But, no, the heck with it. Dad said he doesn't want to see me anymore, right? You old boy will be surprised. I'll do it. I'm going on this adventure. McAnally Palms. <clears throat> we have arrived at our first destination. McAnally Palms. Avery said that near this island there must be a sunken gallery called Atlantis. In this gallery there is supposed to be the will o' the wisp we need to sail through the nautical fog. How exciting. I'll have a look around first. Okay, and the hotel guest. Went at the McAnally Hotel and met the guest who has a ticket for Atlantis on her. I think I could get it from her in a game of Kraken Father, but for that I need you know, the right stake and I have to yeah, and I have to get her to take the risk anyhow. That woman is just too uptight. Okay, so I'm guessing and what we need to do is get a mushroom and we use that as our bet in the game. You know what? Let's Wait, let's talk to her, for I am... So why oh, can we take the clothes, even? Ah, thanks. What did you want to say? Oh. Are you a guest here in the hotel? You can bet on it, so that I have the shortest possible way to the beach. Would you tell me your room number? Of course! Cool, thanks. Should I write that down along with the code for the room safe and give you a carrying case? Ouch, okay. Your skin blinded me so much that I didn't see the irony coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ever heard of the treasure of eternal memory? I'm not interested in such nonsense. Ever heard of the sunken gallery at Atlantis? That's one of those McAnally Palms attractions, right? I don't have time for that. I'll stay here in the sun until I'm tanned enough. Oh, forget it. Honestly, he had more talk and what I'm concerned about you have that as an option. Uh -huh. Hands off. Thought so. Hmm. It's just for not you. Even sure or... why we, not even sure why we would want her clothes. Or maybe steal something from her and steal the key to her room from the clothes or something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm this concerned. Down with his boat, but these... See, now they're on already. Anything new here? I'm surprised that we have a topless woman in this game. No, again, we we don't we are not seeing it, so that's fine. I was surprised. Yeah, I, I was half expecting a, a meta joke about if this wasn't an E for everyone game, I would get up and kick your ass for trying that. <laughs> that be something. There's a woman at the McNally Hotel who has a ticket to Atlantis. What are you waiting for? Grab the ticket! But how? You are driving me crazy. Get creative! I think I could win it in Crack and Fodder. Mm-hmm. Mm, but that woman is just too uptight. Uh-huh. If only I could somehow... Stop thinking out loud! Just get the ticket! 
I recognize his voice as well. There are many voices I recognize. I'm no. Set the sails, multi. Okay, so we can go to different places. Atlantis is over there, but we need a ticket for it. Uh, what is that? The fog is there. Uh, <laughs> the haptic fog. Let's see. Offshore the, fishing possible no, to Ingo. I think it's supposed to say the nautic, nautic fog. Problem is, yeah, they had a little bit too small of space to write the proper N. Yeah, it looks more like a U, like a V than a U. But okay, let's go to take a look around. Okay, another fishing spot. The, so. Those stupid mushrooms just took off. Oh, that's why they're hard to pick. Okay. The sign reads in very, very small letters. Please don't get too close. These glowing mushrooms are very shy and withdraw as soon as they feel pressured. Each of these rare mushrooms is connected underground to an alternate location. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we need to find the other location and all... block it or something. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me get this right. The mushrooms are shy? Apparently, yeah. Okay, do we get different fish here or is it just all the same everywhere? I need to go... Where is my pen and paper? Well, my pens are over here. I have more than plenty, but now it's the paper that's... Uh, 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 hello. Uh, let's see. Info this message is not relevant for the story or riddles of the game. It is written by the crowd by a crowdfunding backer. Okay. Uh, <laughs> letter opener. Bronze. Read the There's going to be more of these. SOS. Woke up this morning. Don't believe what I saw. 100 million bottles washed up on the shore. <laughs> Seems I'm not alone in feeling alone. 100 million castaways looking for a home. <laughs> Police officer. <laughs> That's a song. What? Yep. Where? The, uh, where? <clears throat> okay, let me find the page. A cliche boots. Okay. Hmm. Let's try the next place then. Set the Let's try this other island. Okay, also with the shy mushrooms. Let me guess, this is going to say the same? The sign reads in very, very small letters. Please don't get too close. These... Okay, so I'm guessing they are connected here. So is there a way that we... Oh, right, of course. There we go. Now a few of them can't retreat. Also, let me... Let's see. Red. Blue. Green. And then mm -hmm. I'll name these 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, red line and bait and basic bait. Wait, wait, wait. Are these even mushrooms? Yeah, uh, sort of, I guess. Materialen werden knap. Unser Segel sieft is gesunken. Wir sind zu eight of einer Insel gestrand. Bitte schickt man spiele. Wir haben alles durchspielt. Langsam wird die Stimmung angespannt. Die Gruppe um Puper wankt und übers müsse zu reden. Okay, the base basic. That probably sounded like good German to anyone but a German, but even I don't get the full of, the full of it. So basically, their ship sank, they're stranded, they have run out of games to play. Uh, the rest... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is... This. <laughs> they're slowly driving themselves insane. I'm not sure about the last one. But dear bad. But wait... The that's how we spell berries in Swedish. Okay. Let's see. If we do this 
are we just going to get the bottle every time? So I might have the notes. Yep, that's a new one. Uh, okay, this is the same one. I might have to keep track of the different effects on every one of these spots. But for now, let's just try the blue line. It gets green fish. And the green line gives... Hmm. Been a while since I needed to just pull up pine and paper, of course, brute. I, I do it that now, now and then, if, whenever I need some notes. Okay, red and green. Oops. Okay, blue and green. Oh, gosh, now I just remember something I probably want to rewatch tomorrow. Ew. Blue to the head. <laughs> the Does that right animation? Yeah, oh, well, fan animation, if you could call it that. Yeah. Okay, looks like each combination has one correct answer. So... Actually, if I'm right, it, that one is actually based on an like, actual British comedy sketch. Yeah. But I think they mm. did add something to it. That's fun! <laughs> But maybe it would help if I knew what I was fishing for. Okay, basically telling us <laughs> to freaking get to it. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, it looks like every combination has only one correct one. Hmm. Okay, these are going to be... Oh, there's some of these are going to be pickable now. Yep, yep. Uh there we go. And back we go. You were going to say something? I, I kind of like that, but that's kind of surprise, but kind of handy as well. Yeah. As fun as fishing community games can be, and often as infuriating as well, uh, it would help if we knew what we were supposed to be doing for that. Do you fancy a round of Kraken yeah. Potter? With steaks? Of course. Hmm. Nope. Sorry. Too risky. Uh, Don't you ever take risks? Never. Never. Uh, really? Run down the stairs without non-slip socks? Never. I'll come back. Take it. Okay. Just need to get the mushrooms and offer Come those on, as a steak. One round of Kraken fodder. My steak is a glowing mushroom. Your steak is the ticket to Atlantis. What do you say? Hmm. I don't know. Sounds too risky for me. I'd rather not. Hmm. Okay, how could we get her to take risks then? I'll come back later. Take care. Hmm. Wait, did you have a question to ask why did she doesn't take a risk? Uh, we just did and we, it, I'm oh. pretty sure it was just a gag line. Let's try another one. Don't you Taking All the right. toast out of the toaster with a fork? Never. Oh, d d act, people, don't. Yeah, don't you'll just get yourself electrocuted. If, if you it does get do stuck, it... if it does get stuck, plug it out first. Yeah, plug it out first. And I'll even then, wait before... Plug it out, wait, then do it. Yeah, but because there might just be some current still in the system. Yep. Drunk from the milk carton without smelling it first? Never! Don't you... Made your bed with a toothbrush in your mouth? Never! Wait, what? Okay. Okay, at this point, I think it's become, it, it's become a bit of a joke or something. Hmm. And also, I just realized something. Hmm? We have a... Look at the, the guy down there. Yeah, Ingo. Yeah, he looked very happy and all that. Yep. 
look at his eyes and towards what direction is he looking at? Yeah, over towards uh, Miss Sunbathing. Might be that way. Was so extremely nice and so quick talky, but just wanted us to get out of the view. Forget I it. hope I'm I wrong. Never speak to that guy ever again. Forget it. I. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay then. I. Hmm. Let's let's look, take a look at Atlantis. Not that I think it will be able to do much here. Uh, hello. It says, "Welcome to Atlantis. Please validate your ticket here." Bummer. I need a ticket. Okay. Let's try just a random spot then. Wait, wait, wait! wait I'm confused. Ain't it an... Was it an alchemy or an antique shop? Uh, a sunken gallery, they called it. So I'm guessing it's a mixture of both, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, if it is an antique shop, then it has the one problem I'm gonna have to complain. Don't have a bloody pay-to-entry for them store. Let's see. Dear Diary, today there was trouble at the mill. One of the crossbeams had, go on, uh, had gone out askew on the treadle, and then three cardinals from Spain showed up very unexpectedly. But apparently they are used to that. Nobody expects them, so they assured me the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> apparently their chief weapon is surprise and fear and ruthless efficiency, and an almost fanatical devotion to the Pope. As they continued bickering, I got bored and left, not wanting to stick around and wait for a punchline that would never come. I bet they didn't expect that either. <laughs> Eric the Halfwit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing these are different for each fishing spot. Because that was the one. Yeah, now we have a green fish here. Yeah, let, uh, let's. Let's not use it. Just to check with this, maybe it's just the first line that's different with each. This is a red fish. No, it's a message in the bottle. Okay. I was here. Why was I actually here? There should be a full treasure chest guarded by a three-headed monkey. <laughs> at least this crazy guy said uh, with a brush after the fifth grog at Scum Bar. But it was a lie, just like the cake. Now I'm here and I've just found a glass full of dirt without a chance to get out of here. <laughs> Shit happens, crazy cookie. Okay, that's Monkey Island, Monkey Island, Portal, and Jack Sparrow, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that was a clever way of us sales, just cramming in references. Yeah. Maybe I misunderstood, but I before we can. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there has to be something we can do. Main idea I have now is to make these mushrooms seem more exclusive or something. Hmm. Uh, it's... Oh no. Hmm. Hmm? Oh no, I just realized. Don't tell me we're gonna use ink on the sound bather. Let's see, we can't <laughs> interact. Hmm. I just probably not gonna use the ink on her, for I don't think that would look like a tan. Can we sabotage her tan somehow? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I. Th hmm. I'm trying to think of how we should proceed with this now, but I think we're out. Of, yep, we're out of obvious things to find. We need a wrench to manipulate mm, the lighthouse. There's something we need to do with this barrel of ink. 
Let's see. Hmm. Oh, so you just give me an idea. Hmm? Give Inky her own barrel to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, we could probably get like one of those uh, covered cat beds, uh, cat beds, and maybe have one that looks like a barrel. Yeah, they just put a sticker on inside of something that it says "Barrel of Ink." Hmm. Okay, what? Hmm. I think he yeah, I, something here. Yeah, I get the feeling we are going to need a hint. Let's yeah, see, don't nothing here. This. I kind of missed us doing these uh, point and click adventures for... Th these are the kind of games where we... Actually, yeah, these are the games where we both, you know, we all playing it. Yeah, since neither of us has much of an idea of what the hell we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Yeah, but still have mm. the, the bonus effect of uh, two heads better than one. Like, yeah, yeah you're so lost, stream. I actually... D yeah, you, you know, I do at times have a, quite an eye for detail. Yeah. So can we sneak in here anyways? Hey, 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 stop! The exhibition is reserved for hotel guests only! Okay, okay. Hmm. Anything new we can get out of either of you? I'm nope. Hey, play. keep your. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I might need to look up a hint. Maybe that same site that we used for Dark Side Detective has a, a page on this game. Uh, speaking of Dark Side Detective, Kikoski has been playing that recently. I haven't oh, watched those yet. Lad. I don't even have a, I don't even... I, I need to actually give Kikoski a watch at time. At some time, I mean. English. Yeah, hints. Yeah, nice game hints. That's the site, I believe. Let's see. Da -da -da. Yeah, fuck off with your cookies. Reject all. Let's see. Chapter 2. Yeah, Serge McAnally. Uh, let's get risky. Let's see. Nothing to hotel. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Let's see. Risky on the docks. Okay. I, I had half a thought that we would need the <laughs> cocktail book somehow. Let's see. Tequila, sherbet, yeah. and lemon. And we got nice lemon now. It. How about a drink? Okay, so tequila, sherbet, and lemon. Oh! It's for her, ain't it? Yeah. That makes sense. But for, for, for only what we would need a drink for. I'm a bit unsure who would need it. And, and the risk of the docks made me think of, well, the guy on the docks. The risky on the docks? Fantastic choice. Coming right away. I'm really starting to like this enormous tin box guy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and once we have her ticket, we can go to Auntie Lantis, I'm guessing. And we'll have to see how to continue from there. Have you ever tried the brand new Meccanelli cocktail? There is nothing about a cocktail in the travel guide. That's why it's called the brand new Macanelli cocktail. Oh, wow. Let me try it. Uh oh. <laughs> In one go. Well, do you fancy a game now? Uh, that sounds exciting. What's at stake? Uh, uh I'm concerned. A mushroom. A glowing mushroom from the glowing mushroom islands? That's right. How could you guess that so quickly? Hmm. That would be the perfect souvenir for this trip. I accept. All right. And if I win, I'll get the ticket to Atlantis. Oh, what a stake. Pretty risky. 
I like that. Ready to go? Okay. Ready when you are. At least this game is simple. So let's see. Plus, with how she is, she's probably going to take very risky moves with this. Okay, witch and your opponent with a witch. There's no crew member or kraken in the world of the dead for him to resurrect or for her to resurrect. Okay, let's just destroy. That's their strongest cards gone right away, or a very powerful card gone there right away. Uh, let's see. Let's try two. She matches, but we beat her all the same. Okay, she has more cannonballs, but we have more cards left. Oop. That's her. Yep, cannon boy. She's going to get back that cannon, but the witch is still gone. Plus, well, they are still gone. Oop. Captain, so that's an auto attack. Is she going to try and overpower? Yes. Do we get lucky? No, we do not. So we do lose our captain, but we get all of our cannons back, our cannonballs back. Uh, which? Uh, perfect. <laughs> now we have the... <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Uh, as it is about the voice actors, really? like, I recognize all the voices, but the old voice actors are recognize and that uh, they're all very good. I don't think I have heard them in any bad roles. <laughs> okay, we got lucky there. Our car didn't get destroyed because they didn't have any cannons left, uh, cannonballs left. <laughs> She's taking a risk and she loses. Okay. Same. Okay, so at a draw, it's just one each. Okay. That's one of ours lost, but we still have a lead. Plus, we have more powerful cards left. Uh, let's see. She went for it one. Let's, let's try and up that. It's going to leave us vulnerable. But we do take out one of our cards again already. Okay. We are going to lose that one. Okay, we're going to lose that one. Okay, but we still have our six cannon. Oop. Yes, <laughs> ceasefire boats. <laughs> I said no more cannonballs. Okay, but now we ha all have those. It okay, let's bring back our strongest one. We are going to lose them. Okay, Oop. <laughs> draw. And I win, okay. And yeah, they have only like two cards left. Oop, stronger cannon. They are playing one. Let's play two. Okay, would have won that either way. Okay, just there are three card and our captain remains. Uh, again, Clash of the Captains. Both sides fire all remaining fireballs. After this round, they all get reset. Oop. And we lose that. Okay. Actually, no, we had a two for we had two of the same pair, so we beat that. Okay. Okay. That's a win. Then they only have their cap. No, they have no cards left. Wow. That was a thrill, wasn't it? I haven't had that much fun in a long time. I'm glad you had fun. And now, about the ticket. What? The ticket? Oh, yes. Here. Hmm. <laughs> Merciless oh. wins the game, win against Fleur on the very first try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I feel sad for her. <laughs> and yeah, if we had lost, well, we would have had more mushrooms to bat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least you would have had some mushrooms, but she, she didn't even get any mushrooms now. <laughs> yeah, we can offer her some when we return. For now, 24-hour ticket for the breathtaking exhibition of Atlantis, as established 1652. And here we go. Oop. Okay, is this... 
Is this thing just a big, uh, yeah, just a big submarine or? Uh, this okay. is only a reference. Welcome what? to Atilantis, the sunken gallery of very rare items. Never in your life have you seen such a compilation of rarities in one room. Take another deep breath, because this will be breathtaking. And here we go! Uh. This is going to be a disappointment, isn't it? Yes, very much so. Oh, no, wait. His name is Attila. Attila mm. and... Oh, good God. <laughs> okay, I, I thought the pun was that it's antique Atlantis, but no, it's just named after himself. <laughs> I have a question. Do you collect only rare items? That's the way it is. I inherited this collection from my father. And he inherited it from his father, and so on. I am crazy about rarities. The rarer, the better. Blood type AB negative. No waiting in line at the three meter springboard. Crowdfunding campaigns that are on schedule. Ooh, getting goosebumps. <laughs> oh, sketch. Yeah, because that hardly ever happens. Yes, I have heard about this. Could be pretty valuable, but I really have enough gold. I'm only interested in the rare stuff. Let me tell you something. The real treasures are never out of gold coins. I'm pretty sure he'll have heard about Teddy McAnally since this whole thing is connected to that stupid island. Ever heard of Teddy McAnally? Of course! The man was a legend. Back there is McAnally's original Kraken fodder set. My great grandfather brought it to this collection. I have no idea how the old guy got it back then. Must have cost him a fortune. I'll just borrow that Will o' the Wisp behind me for a moment, okay? <laughs> Good one. This Will o' the Wisp is far too valuable and fragile to be simply lent to someone. There are only seven of them worldwide. Okay, I see. Then how about for just a very, very short time? No, I would never give it to you. Unless with one exception. And what would that be? I would trade it. Trade it for what? Think about it. Well, against something that is even rarer. How many Will-O-The-Wisps are there again? A total of seven. Bring me something that's even rarer we have a deal. <laughs> mm, what do you think of this very rare stamp? These stamps aren't as rare as you might think. Definitely not rarer than a will of the wisp. Ah, uh, never mind. It was worth a shot. <laughs> I have to go. Remember, your ticket is valid for 24 hours. You can come back anytime. Okay, let's see. The Will of the Wisp. I found the Will of the Wisp, but it's in that sunken gallery that Avery told me about. Yoni, and the the, oh, what? the owner, Attila, uh, would let me have the Will of the Wisp. Uh, with the, Will of the, uh, the, the Wisp, if I could find something even rarer to trade. There are only seven Will of the Wisps in the world. Where am I supposed to get something so rare? Hmm. Oni. Yeah, <laughs> no idea where that one came from. It says. Opening soon, a rarely good restaurant. A good bit north from here. Okay. Oh, come on. It's just a violin. A golden cape made by the famous dressmaker, Illness Kenway. The cape is one of 12 from the collection, Sewing Cape Abilities. Hey, Capabilities. there's a loose thread hanging from it. Oops, yoink. Um. You know, can we use that for fishing now, maybe? This is the Will o' the Wisp. Avery really was right. Now all I have to do is somehow get this guy to give it to me. So probably in, if, involve scamming him. What kind of bag is this? Oh, I'm especially proud of that. This is a bag of accessories from a furniture manufacturer, which contains the absolute correct number of screws. 
very, very rare. <laughs> Ikea. I, I think Ikea puts extra screws in there simply because people have a tendency to lose them. And is Predator extra than... So it's probably way more annoying? You have to uh, screw too little or such? Yeah. Teddy McAnally's original Kraken fodder set. What a gem, right? Do I even want to know? The sign says, the Royal Flush V8. Number one for number two. This boat toilet is crafted by hand. There are only eight of them in the world. Okay, just because something is rare doesn't mean it actually has value. Left ear by artist Bjelvik Strengthis Fiablonson, better known by his pseudonym, Ed. There is another similar artwork in another museum. Let me guess. Right ear? Oh, you are familiar with Fjarblinson's works. I am impressed. No, that it wasn't easy. <laughs> as easy a guess as would come. A very well-preserved mummy from the Pyramids of Gregory. <laughs> tickle, tickle. Yep. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Tickle, tickle, tickle! Oops! Um... Uh, okay... Uh, and also... A Swedish artist made that ear? Apparently. Yeah, the, I think she mispronounced some of the letters there, so again... I do not blame people to struggle with some of the letters. Paper. I swear this thin piece of paper just fell off the mummy. I barely touched it. And that loose thread hung from the golden cape at Atlantis. Atlantis. Uh, can we show that to you? No. Hmm. There's an instrument you're not to talk to. Talk to. And we, we can't interact, interact with we? it. Uh, oh, yeah, we can. Original ukulele from the legendary metal band Naknishmors. Okay. Like Nick Smurfs, maybe? I don't know how Yermes pronounced that letter. No idea either, really. No. I don't know that the, the circle with two dots over it is a. Uh. Hmm. This is also the Swedish word for island. Let's have if another have look. An island, island we call a uh, land. Hey, I can use this golden thread as fishing line too. Okay, I think it would be oh, rather yeah, short yeah. for that, but let's give that a try. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's still funny, funny. Like, Erland li literally means island land. Okay. No. Yeah, Are we just going it to... It sounds funny, Swiss, but when you... Uh, we're going. Yeah, yeah, I think with the golden thread we're going to succeed on every try. Yep, <laughs> looks like it. Okay, go ahead. Nice. Uh, let's see. Erland sounds fine in Swedish, but it just sounds weird when you translate it to English. Yellowish fish. Yellowish. Okay. Otherwise, you'd have to figure out the path, the correct path on each of these. Okay, are we going to... Oh, come on! Up until that point, it was correct. So... Okay, I'm guessing that... Hmm... Okay. So, up until that one, it was correct. So, let's try this again. Hmm. Again, we don't really know what we're fishing for. Maybe a rare fish or something. Okay, green fish. And then we need to yeah, change it up on the... Okay. That's it. it... I'm guessing that if we fish with the same line as the color of the fish, it's an auto fail for some reason. So if we fish with you, but the red line, what happens then? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay, gold. 
This is a little bit tedious, but it could have been much worse. It could have just been a case of, well, randomization. So... Hmm... There. Yeah, I'm very confused. So that is a really freaking long thread to be able to use it like that. Okay. Just an Blue. idea. If it's not this one, then it leaves only one more option. Oh, Blue is fish. Okay. Now, if we go gold and blue... This is a boot. Come on! Get clear well, it somewhere else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, did you just end angry? <laughs> They're more annoyed. Because she keeps throwing the stupid boot in the same spot, so she keeps fishing it up the same boot. So the facts, we just make it into a stew for you. Okay. And we should probably ask Avery. Maybe he has an idea about this. Let's give, let's give this one more shot. Okay, blue and gold. Uh, Let's try face. green and blue then next. And yeah, th these fish are as done with us as we are <laughs> with them. Okay, green and blue. Yep. Oh, of course. Okay, that leaves a 50-50 chance. But let's talk with Avery if he knows anything about fishing. And he has no inputs. Wait, wait, wait. you said you talk to him. I saw something there. You uh, could tell him you found the will of the wisp. Uh, I found the will of the wisp. It is a part of this exhibition, just as you said. We need to get this will of the wisp at all costs. I could trade it for something that is even rarer than a will of the wisp. Do you have any idea where we could get something that rare? If I were you, I'd take a good look around this sunken gallery. These collectors are crazy about rarities and don't think of anything else. You might find a clue where we could get a rare item. Okay. Uh, any wait. idea where we could get this rare item we need? If I were you, I'd take these col- You might- Okay. Mm. I think I know what he mean- I'm Do we good. need the other ear painting? I don't think it's that. Let's see, just north of that? Hmm. Let's see if there's anything in the places above here. No. Hmm. Strange. But it's a... This place wasn't even on the map. There we go. It, su sushi madness. Please excuse me. The restaurant is not yet open. Do you run the sushi place? I don't run the sushi madness. The sushi madness runs me. <laughs> Does the wasabi have its own chair here at the board meeting? Or was that meant metaphorically? Okay. Metaphorically. Got it. Ah, you are still young, girl. You will understand it someday. Okay. Uh, the restaurant concerned. looks great. What's missing for the opening? A gold tooth piranha! A fish? You mean everything is ready and there's only one fish missing? Not just any fish! The gold tooth piranha is the perfect fish for the opening of the sushi madness. Okay, why does it have to be this specific one? And yeah, now we know what we are looking to fish up. We just need to figure out how. Why does it have to be this particular fish? Yeah, 
few years ago when I found the perfect bamboo mat for the restaurant, I fell into an emotional hole. I doubted myself. I doubted the restaurant. I even doubted the bamboo mat. I just sat there without making a single move. I ate nothing. I drank nothing. I did not speak a word. But after eight days and eight nights, do you know who broke the silence and spoke to me? Metaphorically? The bamboo mat! <laughs> yeah, I was expecting something like that. And suddenly, everything was clear to me. I knew what sheets of noi the sushi madness demands. What rice and what fish there should be at the opening. The tooth gap piranha. Gold tooth piranha! Gold tooth piranha. Exactly. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of lost it long ago. I think we knew even why and how he lost it. I'm pretty sure any visitors here are just going to end up on the menu themselves. Ever heard of the treasure of eternal memory? I'm not interested in such things. My life is all about the sushi madness. <laughs> I am mad. looking for something very rare. Oh yeah? Like what? Like something very, very rare. No matter what, it just has to be really, really rare. Hmm, how rare? Like a maximum of six pieces worldwide kind of rare. Oh, really? That's interesting. I know who you could get something rare like that from. Really? From who? I would like to make a suggestion to you. Bring me the gold tooth piranha, and I'll help you out. Oh, no. <laughs> you give me something, I give you something. <laughs> give and take. It's all connected. In the end, the big picture forms a circle. Like sushi. <laughs> ah, you will see. But be careful. The gold tooth piranha is a voracious fellow. I met someone today who would have given anything for a mustache like that. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? But cycling is hell. <laughs> <sighs> it's give and take, isn't it? I thought he was going to say it's a tripping hazard. Well, sort of. More of a... It gets stuck in the bicycle, so... Yeah, the wheels. I'll go fishing for this fish then, I think. Good luck! The bucket is full of lobster claws. Ugh, disgusting. But Andy, I'll take one with me. Okay, what do we need? What do we need that for? This is the children's table at the Sushi Madness, with little sushi coloring books and wow, that's a lot of color pencils. You don't need that many colors to paint sushi. Yeah, but you do need that many See pencils us. to keep kids busy because they will lose and break many of them. This is the children. Yep. This is right. Hmm. Let's see, any more hints? What was it again with this goldfish? You get me the gold tooth piranha, and I'll help you find the rare item you need. Right. I'm on it. Okay. Oh, good. We'll just have to ask around for it. Hmm. I have to catch a special fish, and I think then I can get this rare item that we can trade for the Willow the Wisp. Okay, let's go then. Can you help me? Help you fishing? I am in a parrot's body, for God's sake. How is that supposed to work, you genius? Don't you have at least one tip or something? One tip? You mean like a motto or something? Something like, uh, the worse the bait, the longer the wait? Or fishing on land gives fish the upper hand? Okay, okay. No more tips, please. I'm sure of one thing. Good anglers always fish with a system. Without a system, you would just poke around in the dark. A system. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. 
I'm getting good. Okay, I'm pretty sure Wait, that was two on. tips there. Hold on. Set. Golden thread, big fish. Or golden. Either we want a bluish fish or we want a yellowish fish. And I Honestly, think the yellowish fish is the golden two piranha. I think it's what we get with the last fish here. So let me just clear up this board. There has to be a pattern with this. So let's try just the golden thread again with each of these. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why the heck is the piranha in the sea? I don't know. <laughs> let's. I thought they would have kept to rivers and lakes. You know, not the saltwater fish. Okay, so, hmm. Yeah, it seems that for every spot it's different here. So, let's see. We know that the golden thread here catches this. Uh, I'm writing these out on a, on a grid to see what does and doesn't work. Oh, I'm going dear. to take a gamble and say green line. No, actually, no, that's not. That's probably not going to work here. But let's test it all the same. Yeah, I suppose say these people. Some fish can handle living in both sweet and salt water, but some can't. <laughs> I do. For I think if you put a fish in the wrong type of water they are not meant to swim in, they will likely get sick and die. Yeah. Let's see. What if we do red and green? Because I, I'm pretty sure that's there's supposed to be a, a pattern on the grid. So that's a yes. Okay. So red. What about red fish and blue line no okay so it's not in a in a sideways thing let's see then we know that yellow gets the fish then red and green okay Hmm. Is it supposed to be complementary colors to each other or something? Let's see then. It's Green? What the heck? Really? We've already been going through the time this fast? Yeah, an hour and a half. Okay, that is correct. Okay, so... Yellow and basic, hmm. green and red, red and green, okay, so yellow and blue maybe, let's see, uh, yellow on the side here so I can keep a better track, okay. if I'm correct this will get us the right fish, no. Okay, so it's not complementary colors on that. It does seem to be that there are, some are linked. Yellow. Just basic. Hmm. I'm presuming that yellow and yellow is always going to be a fail. So now we get red. And red and green. What other one do we need to mix the yellow fish with then? Okay, green, red. Hmm. Yellow and green? Let's try that. Nope. Okay, red and yellow, or... Hmm. A 
Okay, if there is supposed to be a pattern here, then I'm not seeing it. Or at least, there's a pattern with the first half here, but I'm not seeing it with the second half. Okay, now it's a 50-50 shot on which of these it, it'll be. And the yellow fish again. I'll go for the reds this time. Or actually, uh, green, red, green. Wait, is it that it's the next line each time or something? Or the last color last each time? Let's see. Because we have the green fish. So we're using that as the line now. So let's see. Is it the red line then? Then we'll need the yellow line on the next one. So reds. No. Okay, so that's not a pattern either. So, is it supposed to be yellow plus yellow there for some reason? We have found the blue fish before, so we... Hmm. Okay, there. And red. I think we should not have thrown away the blue fish when we had it. Yeah, the blue fish is not the one that we want. But even then it would I have been a... I meant to use it as a bait. It's... Red with green. Or rather green with red. And the blue fish is not the one that we need to hand over. We need to fish with that but one as well. It, okay. It, that's why I meant to use the blue fish as bait. To fish yeah, the drama. It, yeah, but that would have been a... a, a Wait, all of these are... Wait, that... Okay, is there another... Okay. All four... That, that was a fail on all four, so... Are we supposed to find some way to get another line, or... Hmm. Let's see. Set sail. Do we maybe need a black line or something? Oh god, don't tell me we're gonna need to steal no. a draw for that. Coloring pencils, lobster, paper. Okay, I'm. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need another hint here, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Let's go back. It's the term how to fish. Let's see, you've got the rod, you've got the bait. Yeah, yeah. And hints available. Uh, okay, there's four fishing spots. Oops. Is it only going to work on those specific ones? I keep catching boots. When I practice fishing at McAnally. You've got your first fish. The green can be used to bait too, yes. Uh, green fish with red line. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there is a pattern, it seems. But let's see. Ta -ta -ta. Use this image before finding it in game. And it is. Uh, ta -ta -ta. If you're impatient, click the question mark to reveal it. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, green fish with yellow. Uh, Wait, it's a different spots each time or something? Okay, how the hell are we supposed to figure that out? Okay. Uh, I'll try the next hint then to see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, have the rare fish. Uh, hotel special exhibit. 21 hints, okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. The heck? Uh, let's see, what does the receptionist say when you, know, you try to see the exhibit? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, as I as I guessed, <clears throat> the guest names in here are backers. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just realized something here. It's really stupid. Oh. Why the heck do you put a fireplace under this damn stairs? It's not a fireplace. It's a insulated fire. So there has to. There's probably an output for the smoke somewhere. Okay. Uh, okay, the, the, these these hints aren't really telling how you're supposed to find these things. It seems uh, another hint. Okay, ta -ta -ta -ta. I see. A4. Okay. This, <laughs> all of this is very non-linear, which is leading these hints to be very crisscross as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I see. Mm. Atlantis, yes. Okay. That I still have not even half a clue of how we're supposed to find out some of this stuff on its own. Like, apparently there's something with specific names in here. And then a check code. So, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I, at this point, these hints aren't even you know, working or helping much. Um, oh, hold on. An unknown island upon a strange island that is not marked on the map Ingo gave me. It lies a good bit north of Atlantis. Uh, sushi Matt, Madness owner, met an old man who was opening a sushi restaurant. Pretty wacky old guy, but he claims he could help me find a rare item if I catch a fish for his sushi, the gold tooth piranha or something. Hmm. Atlantis. You accidentally said Atlantis. Let's see. Hey. Hmm? Oh. Nothing here. Okay, I. I have absolutely no clue. Cleo doesn't want to talk with him again. The sign reads, hey. Hmm. Wait, does that mean that there's maybe another hidden island somewhere here or something? Maybe? Hmm. How? I'm sure of one thing. Without a system, you would just... A system. Like, but if you, if you have to fish at different places with different baits and yes. hmm, I I might need to look up a video of just to get even a basic understanding of this. Yes, I do not see how we're supposed to find a method to. Well, catching the fish because we we tried that just earlier and it just led to failure all around. And yeah, there's yeah, like, none of this here. All the fish is supposed to be cute and all until we got to that point. Hmm. Like I get you want to do, do the some challenge people, but this is not how you make. E the fishing mean game is challenging. You, you, this is how you make it annoying. Yeah, there's supposed to be a hint somewhere, I'm guessing. Maybe we need to talk with him after Four, all? Uh... No. Okay, seriously, how are we even supposed to figure out the system then, except then you... trial by fire, you know, trial by er trial and error? 
I, I do not see anywhere that we could find a hint on how to yeah, pick, get the system told to us or something. Let's see. There's nothing like burn marks on this thing to give a hint. Hmm. So what is with these? Why do we want these? This this lobster was left-handed. I heard those are more creative, but it probably won't help in any anymore. The lobster claw can be used as a pair of pliers. Him? Hmm? Lobster claw, lighthouse. Okay, yeah, let's give that a try. As quick as a pliers, it just clicked with me directly. It's, but it's, that should work. Darn, the screw is still too tight. I need some oil or something. Okay. That should help loosen the screw. Yeah. Perfect. But I still can't loosen the screw with my bare hands. A pair of pliers would help. Big hint there, then. Let's see. Okay, but what is this going to do hey, then? The mirror is reflecting the sun rays right onto the beach. Must be pretty hot there now. Okay, so that's going to help her get a tan, possibly finally. Were there cartoon noises then? I accidentally talked over them. Unsure. Yep, well, she's getting pretty sunburned. Hey. I don't want to worry you, but... What? Dear God! My skin! I guess I overdid it! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! I really need to get to the shade! <laughs> okay, points there, game. Okay... It's a room cards. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go to the dog. It, I want to see if it is if, if he. Yeah, he's still there. Okay. He's still I'm looking. Gonna, I, I'm gonna hope he was not looking towards the beach. I'm gonna hope I'm wrong on that one. <laughs> Let's see. Forty-nine of hearts. Okay, five oh seven. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hearts. 49, was it? Let's see. Audrey Herring. Let's see. Yeah, Audrey Herring, 507. Yeah. But... Oh, name? Audrey Herring. Hmm. Room number? 49. 49 of hearts. Hmm, so far so good. Check digit. A check, seriously? So? Um... Five? Zero? Seven. Oh, that's correct! Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Herring. The tan makes you look a lot younger. <laughs> Thanks. I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, but I'm pretty sure she's not actually that stupid, but oh well. Okay, at least we have some progress finally. Okay. Teddy McAnally's parents. Steve and Amelia McAnally ran a fishing business that had been in the McAnally family for generations. Teddy was their first and only child and was meant to take over the fishing business in his future. I think we can see the fishing tech over there, or the fishing pattern. Even when he was a toddler, Teddy had a defiant nature with a distinct aversion to authority figures. As a matter of principle, the young Teddy always did the exact opposite of what his parents asked him to do. So what the fuck is in there? Uh, electric eels. You know, <laughs> noticed. 
It is said that his father's belief of you can't make money just playing games challenged him so much as a child that he decided to prove his father wrong. As a young adult, Teddy McAnally finally invented the world-famous game Kraken Fodder, and thus became immeasurably rich. Teddy's father admitted he was wrong and suggested that Teddy design another game to further expand his financial success. Out of defiance, Teddy McAnally never developed a game again and went fishing instead. Later, he founded the Fishing Rod Steward Fishing Club. Okay, he should have he should have learned by now then on that. Okay, and these these must be backers again. <laughs> Let's see, Timmy, Michael Grunewald, Christian Grunewald, Madsen Martin, uh, Teddy McAnally, Lewis, uh, not Lewis and Khan, uh, guessing the cats, <laughs> Andreas Suica, Justus Lau uh, Lauten, Sri Hals Toby, and Simon Rob. Okay. <laughs> While fishing, Teddy McAnally always kept record of what he caught, and noted down in detail the baits, locations, and fishing equipment used. There are a lot of arrows, numbers, and fish on that chart. Hey, that one has golden teeth! That must be the fish this sushi man needs. The chart would be useful for catching that stupid fish, but I won't be able to remember it. I have to trace it somehow. Okay. We have paper. Hmm, let's see. It could work with these pencils and the mummy paper. Voila! Okay, there we go. Now we know the freaking pattern. McAnally was also reluctant to adhere to the norm when fishing. Instead of trout or bass, Teddy McAnally was targeting full-grown electric eels while fishing. In his old age, Teddy McAnally fell into a pool of electric eels, which is what ended his fishing career. And his life career. Oh dear. Also, what is this? Is this a, is this supposed to be the real set or something? Replica of Teddy yep. McAnally's Kraken fodder set. The original is in the sunken gallery of Atlantis. <laughs> it says Cassandra Stream. Warning: risk of drowning. <laughs> okay, what is it with the risk of drowning? No, Wait, there's the freaking crypt. <laughs> Wait, she drowned in a pool of electric e e Oh god, he drowned here. Probably, yeah. Teddy McAnally died shortly after his electric eel accident and was buried here. Okay, so he didn't drown. Original crypt with the original coffin. <laughs> Ugh, that air freshener up there has chosen the ultra hard level of difficulty. <laughs> Little what air freshener. Seriously? I haven't seen all the exhibition yet. I haven't oh. seen all the exhibition yet. Oh? You wanna watch it? Look at an arrow? A or huge feature rod? with two rather aggressive electric eels. It is constantly supplied with fresh water by the river that flows through the hotel. River? Okay, we're going to have to sabotage this thing somehow, probably. No, I would more call it just a stream. Yeah. Oh, that's the exit point. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Okay, so we can only get that one uh, <clears throat> at the, that specific spot. Okay, this makes it a lot more endurable, but still rather <laughs> bullshit with just yeah. specific why, why spots. Didn't just, why did it uh, him you just tell us to go and grab this? Uh, again, because the game's uh, a bit non-linear with all of these things, so the, the hints also are... Okay, at least we now know. So let's just get the freaking fish, follow the patterns, and get this freaking done. Thank you yeah. for the fish. Oh, how that song went. Okay. We can get either one of those... I used to realize it's dark. Uh, out or in the game? In the game. Let's see. 
H3. H3. Okay, and then we need the blue line. <clears throat> there, red fish. Okay, I'm guessing times progresses a little bit each time. Uh, I4 with green line. Whenever we fix a puzzle, uh, let me. Oh, God. Yeah, so I4. He said the ticket has a 24 hour time limit. I'd be damned if we somehow can get locked out from it. Probably not, but just to give a showcase of time progressing. So, red face with green line. I have no idea why the line is supposed to be of any use of this, but there wouldn't be much of a puzzle otherwise. Okay, blue fish. Then F3 with the golden line. F. Okay. Wait, right back here? Okay. Then we'll get the stupid fish. Then we can get the trade, and then we can get the whole thing running again. So, yellow, blue, then, go. Don't call the fish stupid. You know what usually happens when you do that? Yeah, gold tooth piranha. I know, freaking Lee. Hey, I did it! This must be that goldfish the sushi man needs. Okay, now before anything else, we just rush over before I somehow lose the stupid thing. And still no idea what the ink barrel is for. I think we will find out sooner or later. Probably. There's still hey, plenty more. Wait a minute. That stupid gold tooth piranha ate up half my inventory. Uh, well, I hope it was worth it. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, it, it just deleted half of that deleted stuff we didn't need anymore. Like the fishing stuff. Yeah, here's your stupid fish. Yeah, I hope you get bits. I knew you would catch the gold tooth piranha. Did the bamboo mat tell you that? I believed in you right away. From the first second. Give me the fish. Wait a minute. You promised me something in return, Grandpa. You remember? Ah, yes, of course. So, who can I get this rare item from? From a man I once knew very well. Wait a moment here. Hey, where are you going? Was that man yourself? What in the world is going here, on? Take this. A cutting board? Wait, is that... I've only made five of these cutting boards in my entire life. You... you're... This, young lady, is the sixth one. Take it. It's yours. Your cutting board pit? No, I was once. Now I am Sushi Madness Pit. <laughs> but I don't understand. You are famous for your cutting boards. You could make a fortune doing it. Famous? <laughs> So what? That's not what life is about, little one. My heart beats for sushi. This is my dream. But... As I said, at some point, you will definitely understand. The path that promises the greatest success is the path where everyone bumps into each other. There are so many beautiful, small paths in life. And mine leads to the sushi madness. <laughs> okay. It's not wrong if you think about it. Yeah. Though, I don't think he's going to bump into many people here. Out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Cutting board pit. Unbelievable. It turns out that the sushi restaurant owner is the legendary cutting board pit himself. He may be one of his famous cutting boards. There are only six of them in the world. Now I just have to trade the cutting board for the Will of the Wisp in Atlantis, and we are ready to sail to Pombo Island. Okay. There. 
Does that mean that we just do not get to do much with the, the ink barrel and other things? <laughs> no. Unless we needed them for later or something? Okay. Welcome back. You can't see rare items often enough, can you? Take another deep breath. Because this will be breathtaking. And here we go! Again, except for the gold cape, I think everything else here is basically useless. Except for maybe that as a collector's item. Okay. An original cutting board from Cutting Board Pit. Unbelievable. There are only six of them worldwide. Hatchet Herbert would totally freak out. <laughs> Okay. I think I have something here to trade the Willow the Wisp for. What do you think of this cutting board? A cutting board? Are you trying to insult me? It's a cutting board from Cutting Board Pit. Impossible! I know all five owners of these boards personally. I've been trying to get one for years. This is the sixth cutting board. Baloney! There are only five. Look at it. But... But... There are only five. There are only... This engraving. It can't... The texture. The shape of the handle. The way the light breaks against the juice rim. It takes my breath away. Where did you get that? Cutting board pit made it personally for me. Impossible! And now I'll trade it for the Will of the Wisp. Okay! Ha! Take the Will of the Wisp! <laughs> It's yours! <laughs> okay, I think he's going a bit mad. Gotcha, you shining little thing. <laughs> she just ran out of ideas. Okay, let's get out of here before he chooses up the entire place from excitement. You can add your own meaning to that. Guys, I got it. I got the Will of the Wisp. For real? Then let's not waste any more time. Let's get that treasure. Multi, set the sails to Pambu Island. Cleo positioned the Will of the Wisp so that it was clearly visible on the bow of the Attempt 38. And with the sunset, our adventurous crew disappeared into the nautical fog. But, but what don't Cleo we... didn't know was that someone had been watching her the whole time. Chapter 3. A coin on Pombo Island. Oh, God. Okay, so the egg barrel was a bit of a diversion. That's it. That is Pambo Island. So... The treasure is here? Well, uh, we have to go to that cave yonder. It's really pitch black in there. Wait a minute. You've been here before? No time to waste. We need light. Malty, grab the Will the Wisp. Will the Wisp? Will... Is that the treasure? A leather bag? Uh, what? Yes! I mean, no, not quite. But it is exactly what we have been looking for. What we've been looking for? But we've been looking for the treasure of eternal memory. Yes, right. And you said it was right here. So where is it? Don't be so impatient now. What's in the bag? That's... Um, it's complicated. We need to get this to Meganelli Palms right away. What? Why? What's in there? Oh, you don't understand anything about that. Trust me, with all the great treasures I've already found. But what's in the bag? No, Cleo, wait! Books? There's only a few books in here. Cleo, please! Logbook of the fearless adventurer Captain Avery Alwick? Logbook number five? Today I killed the last Cyclops crab. I can't even count how many there were in total. Maybe a dozen or more? Be careful with that, please. Logbook number two. I was followed by the black giant iguana for weeks. If I had not paid attention for even a moment, I would have been dead on the spot. What? What is this? 
It's mine. Give it back. Let go. Oh, and no oh, crap. Okay, so the treasure of eternal memory is well a way to clear his name or prove Kebika as a fraud. There is no treasure. You're going to get plucked. What do we do now? <sighs> we are going to die here, Cleo. We are going to starve. We are going to die of thirst. If one of us is lucky, he will be struck by lightning. And then that's it. That's it? Aye, it's over. But you fought undead skeletons. Cleo. You survived a cyclops crab and a giant black iguana. Listen to me. And now you're just giving up? Just like that? No, there must be a way. So tell me, what, what do we do now? Cleo, these are all just stories. What? What do you mean? Made up stories, don't you understand? No cyclops crabs, no giant iguana. It's all just make-believe. Only once in my life have I been in mortal danger and on my own. And that was right here, on this island. And guess what? I didn't survive. Okay. So, Captain Quebec's ambush, that was just a lie? What is a lie, Cleo? There is no clear line between the truth and a lie. Uh, the yes, details there is. were perhaps a little different, but in the end, Kabeka left me for dead. Right here, on Pambo Island. So you died here on Pambu Island? Well, not exactly. Rather trying to escape from this island. I spent many days here and managed to build a small raft. But I can tell you, without a will-the-wisp to show you the way, you'll never get out of this fog. Face it, we're gonna die here, and we will be forgotten forever. So, Kebeka was a great adventurer after all. <laughs> Call him what you want. Like many others, he was looking for the treasure of eternal memory. He searched for years, following every lead he could find. He found countless other, smaller treasures in the process. He got famous and loved the attention it got him. So he decided to hire a writer to accompany him on his adventures. And write and embellish his story. Embellish? An excavated skull turned into half a dozen undead skeletons. An annoying bee into a deadly flying beast. Those kinds of things. Oh, I see. And that was you. Kebeka's writer. All the stories I've read about Kebeka, you wrote them! Aye, the book series, Take Away, Get Away, should have been my life's work. My masterpiece, my big breakthrough as a writer. But much more, it became my curse, my death sentence. Does this treasure of eternal memory even exist? I asked myself that many times. But it can't just be a myth. There must be something to it. But it wasn't the treasure that was buried here, that's for sure. Tell me the whole story. Why did Quebeca leave you behind? I've been by Quebeca's side in his treasure hunt for years. Ah, the pay was bad. For years I had to watch that bugger dig up chests of gold with my help and keep everything to himself. And every day I had to write down how brave, bold, and heroic he was. I couldn't wait for him to finally find this one treasure, so that he could finally achieve the big goal, and that I could end my book series with a worthy finale. Then Kabeka found something interesting. Teddy McAnally had been on Pambo Island shortly before his death. McAnally had gotten himself a will-the-wisp and sailed into the nautical fog with a shipload of gold. It just had to be it. Kabeka found a will-the-wisp on Fluffkey Island, and we sailed to Pombo Island. And indeed, we found a huge treasure here, countless chests of gold. But it is said that when you have found the treasure of eternal memory, a feeling of infinite happiness would overcome you. A feeling of endless contentment. 
of redemption. But nothing like that happened. Just chests full of gold coins, as always. Kabeka was furious. He ordered me to haul the giant treasure chests aboard his ship and left me alone in the cave. With the treasure. Unsupervised, do you understand? A single coin. No more. I only put a single coin in my pocket before I brought the chests on board. But Quebeca noticed. Even worse. His stupid monkey saw it. That lousy primate that he called me Lily had given him. Okay, so <laughs> they're both frauds, but one of them is a murderer, plain and simple. Okay, and oh. we've hit two hours, but at least let's just finish the chat here. Yeah. Wait, Captain Kabeka got a Ponzo from that creepy basement granny? Aye, a Ponzo. <laughs> The monkey was his sidekick. The monkey had to appear in every story. Aponzo, bring me the map. Aponzo, pull the secret lever. Aponzo, Aponzo. Uh. And me? I was sentenced to death on this island for a single gold coin. And the logbooks? I had nothing with me on this island except my bag with seven blank notebooks and the bloody gold coin. None of that helped me survive even a second longer on this stupid parched island. And I knew that if I died here, no one would remember me. I was nobody. Everything I had written and published was about Captain Kabeka and his darn monkey. So you made up your own adventures. Should anyone ever come to this island again, they would find my logbooks. Then people would remember me. You just wanted to come here to get the logbooks? to bring them to Macanelli Palms and publish them. That's all I wanted. But now I'm stuck on this island. Again. We must be able to get out of here somehow. I've tried, Cleo. No chance. In the nautical fog, you will lose your bearings, and sooner or later, you'll be right back at this island. Without a will the wisp to show you the way, you just can't get out of here. I'm not giving up. I'll come up with something. Do what you want, but please leave me alone. When I was here the first time, I still had hope too. I'm tired of telling stories, Cleo. I'll die here for the second time. It really can't get any worse now, can it? I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, I hope I expected a monster to go map. Okay, well, that's a refreshing, <laughs> that's a refreshing twist. <laughs> okay. I think I have seen this twist before, but it's not common. Yeah, because at its base, it is a bit boring because it undercuts the myth of everything. But we've already seen that, well, there's a freaking cracker, there's freaking voodoo stuff. They're probably not actually voodoo, just magic stuff. And yeah, Will of the Wisps. So there is definitely magic going on. It's just that these two are frauds in a magical world. Yeah, bloody heck. But still, I do love this game. Yeah, it is really good. Okay. Now, before we end the before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me go to that. Change the screen share. To the browser. Yep. Okay. Let's see. A good amount of people, a lot of people online. Okay. So oh, I'll nice. narrow this down again. Unless you see something, you know, someone specific. I, okay. They are out of our r typical raid range, above 100. But Tier of Grace is playing uh, Sonic P06. Uh, I'm guessing that's that fan project that made, well, an actual enjoyable version of Sonic 06. Let me yep, mute the browser so we can at least take a peek. And let's see, beyond that, we have uh, Misa and Aleph playing Cryostasis. Trio Jack, uh, yeah, nah, that's Dead by Daylight, that's not too interesting, I'd say. Roku is playing Mel Melatonin, well, that's a game I haven't heard of. Let's have a look. Uh, Clown Time. 
Oh, it's a sort of, uh, it's a sort of beat heaven or something like the, those uh, rhythm-based, <clears throat> rhythm-based DS games. Oh, gods. Um, let's see, we have already raided Spooktoop yesterday. They're playing Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Which I have heard is really fun, <laughs> just especially just to fuck around with whatever abominations you can make but by mixing Pokemon together. Um, Jackson Sam is holding a <clears throat> holding a special event, Wheel of Duxon debut plus game show with someone uh, with chat. Okay, uh, I'm guessing they've got a new model or something, perhaps. Yep, and they're on our pre-stream, so not a best good idea to... Um, the Digital Hazard is playing Digimon World Next Order. Okay, that looks rather recent. I have heard words that there's a new Pokemon, another po Digimon story game in the works, supposedly. Uh, yeah, I, I'm the one that told you that. Yeah. <laughs> on stream, even. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Inside of the Lish is going online with the Minish Cap, but they're probably in their pre stream as well. Let's check. Yeah, 47. Yeah, they're on their pre stream. Um, okay. Who should we rate then? I'm, I'd, I'd say Cider. Or actually, we rated them Ronda recently as well. Misa and Aleph then with Cryostasis. Yeah, one of those two. Okay, well, they're, they're a team, or it's a team name, at least. <clears throat> oh! Okay. Copy the name, slash raid, paste, okay. But before we do that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Chat has been quiet. Do we have lurkers? Yes, we have two lurkers. <laughs> Ahoy there. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, I will have to check your name against the list of known bots because, well, bots are still just a freaking infestation on Twitch. But yeah, if you aren't a bot, then sorry. If you are, well, you don't have the capacity to feel offended anyway. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining here on Twitch or on YouTube when this gets posted. Yeah, uh, on that, uh, I've made a second YouTube channel where I'll be posting new stream, you know, new games that we start <clears throat> in a more digestible chunks of about half an hour each. Uh, and the first one I started with was Cleo here. I won't be doing that with Sonic Heroes, I think, which we'll be continuing with tomorrow. But with every new, well, main week you know, story, <clears throat> with every new story uh, <clears throat> stream, I will be cutting them up and putting them on that secondary channel as well. Though I won't be putting stuff up there like uh, the Deep Rock Galactic stream from uh, Monday. All right. So yeah, more Let's Play-like stuff. <clears throat> I, let's hope it goes well with that idea. Like, well, so far I've I scrolled only one you know, view on four videos, but okay. I'm not, it's not like I'm expecting to get tens of thousands of views or something. It's just something for people who want that. Yeah, I just hope it works for... The only thing is, it has gone in ebb and flows if it's good idea to have multiple channels or just one. But yeah. it, depending on the period of time on YouTube, it could be beneficial or very crippling. Yeah, because they keep changing things up like, oh, oh we like this this way. No, we like this this way now. Uh, yeah, it's not like I'm chasing success or monetization anyways. <laughs> I'm doing this for fun. Yeah. Okay, but for now then, let's get this raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe for one and watch out for undead seagulls. And the uh, lying parrots. <laughs> that too.